Hi, Seraphin here. So today we're making manto again, but unlike the previous one, this time we're gonna add milk, sugar, and fat. And for those of you who are already familiar with this Chinese steamed bread, this is a sweet dessert kind of manto. If you add fillings, be it barbecued meat or sweet delicacies, then we can call it baozi. So without further ado, let's get started making it. We use 200 grams of bao flour. Please refer to our previous video for more information about this flour. Basically, it's a, it's a really refined type of flour. And then 15 grams of sugar. So the yeast is gonna love this. Besides the sweetening effect, the sugar has also been shown to improve the specific volume. It should be above 3% and below 10% of the flour weight. Above 10% addition, quality will be adversely affected. Now let's add a little bit of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon or one gram. We limit salt addition levels between 0.25% and 0.5% by flour weight. Within these levels, it can enhance color and improve the handling properties. Salt tightens the gluten structure though, and we don't really want too much of that in this dough. Okay, now we add four grams of shortening and 120 grams of milk. So the total fat including the shortening and the milk, is about eight grams. This is the upper threshold of the optimum range. Two to 4% by flour weight. So actually you can skip the shortening, it's a very optional ingredient. Okay, now let's kickstart the mixer. Start with a medium low speed so that the flour won't fly around. After about a minute, we stop the mixer, scrape the sides of the bowl, and get rid of the stuff sticking to the sides. Start the mixer again, raise the speed to medium, and let it run for another six minutes. Then we can take it out of the mixer. We'll move it to a work surface and we'll just knead it a bit more by hand. Before rolling it out with a rolling pin, this is to get rid of any air bubbles and smooth out the dough. It's a very useful step with lots of benefits. They're below a certain level, like the they don't show up on the which it? They don't show up on the skin. After we flatten the dough, we'll fold it up into a rectangle and roll it out two more times this way. So roll out the folded rectangle, fold it again, then finally roll it out one last time. Now we curl the dough up into a log and divide it into six parts. We're gonna shape each piece into a small ball using these steps. Press down the dough to form a rough circle. Pull the edges into the center, pressing to seal. Then flip it over, roll it to smooth the surface. Flip again and bring the edges to the center once more.
pinching to seal it. And finally, we'll roll with our palms to make it more spherical. Not too much, so as not to rip the taut surface. Once done, we put it on a piece of parchment paper and move it into a proofing container, which is just our steamer here. Repeat these steps for the remaining pieces of dough. Yeah, the paper. Oh. When all pieces have been shaped, we'll cover them well and let them proof for 35 minutes. About 10 minutes before they finish proofing, we'll start heating up the water for the steamer on high heat. When it boils, put the bamboo steamer on top of the pot, turn the heat down by a little, and let it steam for 10 minutes. After that, turn off the heat. Then before opening it, we have to wait for another five minutes to prevent shrinkage. They're done. Fluffy, lightly sweet, and milky manto. Enjoy!